Every once in a while, we come across a home like this Brooklyn townhouse that is so special, that's so fun, so unique, that I get to use the word trophy. And that's what we have for you today. We are on Dean Street, and this is 82 Dean. The house underwent a painstaking two-year renovation, converting this from what it once was, originally built in 1920, to the masterpiece you're about to see today. Designed by Ash Leandro and restored by Mercer Street Restoration, this is a treat, a complete feast for the eyes. Let's go. All right, welcome to your new home, if you're lucky. We've got gorgeous herringbone floors here in the parlor, and I love our initial sitting area. One, I love the furniture. Everything was custom chosen, picked specifically for this space. We have a working fireplace right here with a gorgeous mantle and really, really cool millwork. You don't actually see a lot of millwork these days because people don't know how to do it correctly. They just don't. You know, sometimes you go into homes and there's millwork everywhere and it, it feels dark here. It is done the right way. It's done almost as an art piece, as kind of the millwork bleeds into the bookshelves, comes around our parlor windows, which are double paned, incredibly, incredibly quiet. Helps accent all the light that's coming in from the street, that's coming in from the sky, accents all of the greenery in the trees, leads into this bookshelf and brings your eyes past the beautiful staircase into the dining room and into the kitchen. You've got gorgeous high ceilings, a savant system that controls the entire house, all from your phone, beautiful lighting, I've got speakers everywhere. Remember the house is new, like new, new. Beautiful light fixtures, which we can talk about separately. Amazing space for art, and then leads us into this gorgeous kitchen. Now, before we get into all the details in the kitchen, I need to focus on, on extra details here because as we go through this house and you see everything, no detail was left untouched. For example, you've got this stone casing that goes all the way around that helps separate the rooms as we go from our receiving area, reception area in the parlor level to our dining room now into the kitchen. And you'll see the same stone carries around the entire baseboard on this level in the living room all the way into the vestibule area. And then like, look at the floor grates here for the vents. This was specifically chosen to give you the same look and feel that you would find everywhere else. You would see these terracotta floors. There's also radiant heat flooring underneath our feet right now. And these tiles, these stone tiles, were actually imported from France. Now, if that sounds familiar, it's because this whole kitchen is French inspired. Now we've got the same types of millwork that you saw in our entryway, in our parlor, here throughout the kitchen. So we're still on theme. And I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. It is our brand color for Sir Hans. It's really, really, really gorgeous. And it accentuates this entire space. And as we go through the tour of this home, you'll see a lot of fun play with color. Countertops are extra thick. This is a real solid slab that is two inch thick all the way through. That's important. Great double wide refrigerator and freezer. And then we've got our Lacanche stove and our pot filler. Our backsplash is glazed tiles, it's gorgeous. And then you'll notice again, details. Like you see here, classic Lacanche hardware. When they were doing this renovation, they actually found somebody who could match this hardware so that they could have similar hardware on all the cabinets, on all the pulls, on all the drawers. Little things like that, like that I love, I'm obsessed with. The kitchen has a big farmer's slop sink, two separate dishwashers, important, all the appliances you could ever need. And then look at the ceiling. So you've got your arch ceiling and the wood is reclaimed Douglas fir. And they even matched the wood in the ceiling to the table that was custom made for our banquette attention to detail. 
Underneath my feet, I've got extra storage. We've got extra high ceilings in here, so you've got space for lots of different things. There's storage up here, there's storage down there, there's storage on the other side. And then look at this, how cool is this? I mean, it's like perfect for our bananas and our dishware and everything. I, I love this. This might be one of my favorite kitchens, I'm sorry. I know we have to move on to other rooms and we have a lot of house to go. It's five floors plus the roof, but I just wanna soak this up for one extra second. Okay, now let's go downstairs. The lower level is where the fun starts. Not just because this is a, a playroom level and that's what the use is for it right now, but we start to have even more fun with color. All right, we've got the blue carpets, we've got lots of fun things here. We've got a nearly 10 foot ceiling on the lower level. So when they did this renovation, you know, typically when you start going downstairs, your ceiling height gets less and less. But in this house, because they really only saved the exterior walls, they redid the entire facade, the whole house was taken down to, to basically nothing. They were able to dig down and lower the joist so you could get this extra ceiling height. And you'll notice it as we go up the entire house. You have great ceilings on every floor. Unlike a lot of renovations or restorations of townhouses, whether you're in Manhattan or in Brooklyn, where you have high ceilings on one floor and then everywhere else they start getting tight. In this house, you don't have that. Now on this floor, you have a beautiful powder room, a great bar area, tons of storage. You've got your laundry room and you have your entire lower vestibule. So your doorway into the house that is underneath our stoop and that has a lot of extra storage space, a beautiful window. And then we come in here and this is our fun room. This could be, if you want it to be, this could be your fifth bedroom. If you wanted to have an in-law suite on your lower level, or if you wanted to have a, a teenager's hangout floor, or if you wanted your office to be accessed directly from the street, you could easily do that. You've got our arch ceilings here, which lead into this open space. And then I've got our casement windows behind us with our first of three outdoor spaces. Our courtyard. Now this starts to feel very European to me, right? Kind of a gorgeous minimalist courtyard. I've got complete privacy. Like I can't see anybody else. There's no windows on that building. You've got ivy everywhere. So you've got all the greenery you could possibly need and it's incredibly safe, incredibly safe, incredibly quiet. You've got drain works here. You've got your gas line fully irrigated. It's fully lit at night. I mean, this is where you sit outside and you have a glass of red wine and you just put on some music. You can also do that on the roof. There's also another terrace upstairs, which I'm gonna show you, but this is just a really, really cool, beautiful space. I could even put a basketball hoop right there because this is so private. And because that wall is pretty high, you could totally do, I might actually do. If you buy this house, we should do that. All right, follow me upstairs. All right, now we're on the second floor. So first I have to point out the custom child gates, also good for dogs, but they were built by the same company that did the entire staircase. So you don't have those like, you know, white plasticky gates everywhere if you've got little kids or if you have dogs. So on this floor, we have two bedrooms with two ensuite bathrooms and they are beautiful and they are so much fun. Now the first thing you notice is that in each of these bedrooms, you have really fun shutters. See, this is how cool interior design is because in a bedroom we could have easily put in, you know, your Lutron shades and you just hit a button and that's fine. But you've got little kids and if you wanna have fun, you've got this whole shutter system and they painted them completely different colors and they're blackout. So at night you close the shutters and you are good to go. It's, it's they're super fun. I, like the first time I saw this house and walked through, I was like, why didn't I think about that for my own house? I love these shutters and you've got them on both sides and you'll see them as we go throughout the house. Beautiful millwork on all the closets, all the doors, great hardware everywhere. We've got beautiful, beautiful white oak floors and then the bathrooms, look how custom. Now every bathroom in this house has its own theme. So here we've got a little bit of a darker theme, really pretty penny tile that's across the entire floor, into the shower, up to the ceiling, 
beautiful accent work, even in the soap niche that you see in the shower. Really, really cool hardware, beautiful fixtures. I mean, just look how fun this is. Like for a kid's bathroom, this is cool. It's just my favorite. This house is just the best. On our third floor, we have our primary suite. Three huge windows. Again, double pane glass, incredibly quiet right over the street. I've got great sky already because this house is so tall. We have views from a townhouse from the third floor. You can see how high these curtain rods are. And then again, the design is just so cool. So you've got a beautiful space here for your flat screen TV above your own gas fireplace. This is the primary bedroom. Again, this whole floor is your suite. So you've got tons of room and space got a massive king bed, gorgeous headboard, and then more space here also for sitting and hanging out. This whole hallway here is closets. I've got closets on closets on closets on closets, fully built out. I've got another walk-in closet that's here behind the bathroom that also has the opportunity to open up a window if you wanted a windowed walk-in closet. And then I've got our primary suite spa. How cool is this? Radiant heat flooring, claw foot tub, gorgeous vanity, incredible fixtures, tons of storage, even like the light fixtures here, the leafs, everything. You've got your toilet and then you've got this massive, massive shower with beautiful, beautiful stonework throughout. It's really, really pretty. Even little details, like again, that the soap niche here next to the bathroom looks like an accent piece here next to the windows. All the windows are operable, so if you wanna have a bubble bath here and bask in your brand new Brooklyn Trophy townhome and open up the window and hear the birds, like you can do that here. You can do that in this house. Now the fourth floor, is a designated hangout space, kind of fun floor. It's kind of your penthouse floor that could easily be your fourth bedroom because you put a door here, you've got an ensuite bathroom right here that is gorgeous, tons of room for closet space, beautiful mantle space here. Again, extra high ceilings throughout, but this could also be an awesome home office space. Right, you can kind of post up right here. You've got huge views throughout, tons of skylights. You can just get work done here all day long. Or this is your hangout space after dinner because you've got a full wet bar that's set up right here in the hallway and then access to your terrace all on this floor. And one of the really, really cool design features on this floor is that you've got the black and white checkered tile from clay tile that is everywhere on this floor. So it's this entire floor, it leads out to your terrace. So it's the same flooring. Again, it's kind of Venetian turn of the century, architecturally inspired and leads into this bathroom. You can see the tile, but it also shifts. So now we've got triangles instead of full squares. And now we go up the ceiling. Maybe one of my favorite bathrooms of all time really really special again we've got another claw foot tub this one's from victoria and albert and we've got this kind of idyllic setting with the window looking out over the skyline of brooklyn you've got all the greenery planting the wisteria that's growing up and over the trellis there it's like hits hits the heart in this room now the terrace on this floor, like I said, you've got the tile that completely comes out. It's an extension of the interior. You're fully irrigated, full electric out here. Really, really beautiful, gorgeously put together. You've got amazing lighting. Again, at night, it's pretty incredible. And then you also have a gas line out here if you wanted to put another grill space. Last but not least, we have our roof deck. Now, this is all totally new. I mean, the whole house is new, but this is new, new. So this floor and the whole floor beneath us were added in the renovation. So it's all new construction. And because we are higher 
than almost every building. Like there's no other single family house around here that is this high. You know, buildings that are this high are, are multifamilies and have been here for a long time. You have incredible view exposure. I mean, I'm looking all the way down to the Barclays Center. I've got all of downtown Brooklyn and I've got amazing Manhattan views. I'm looking down towards William Street. I've got the World Trade Center here in Lower Manhattan. And this is 82 Dean Street a fantastic and new townhouse that we are so lucky and fortunate to be bringing to market right now. And hopefully you're lucky too. Thank you so much for watching.